On Bulls TV, it's a pleasure to introduce the new head coach of the Windy City Bulls, Nate Lenzer. And Nate, uh, by the way, we're color coordinated. That's good. It's all good. So, by the way, congratulations on behalf of the entire organization. Let's get an idea of, uh, a little about yourself and how this came about. Well, um, I was obviously working with the Chicago Bulls this past year with Coach Hoiberg. Uh, I came with him from Iowa State. I was with him his last two years at Iowa State and followed Fred to the Bulls last year. And um, it's just one of those things as, uh, as time progressed and what the organization wanted um, to have an opportunity to have a guy who obviously knows Fred's system, has obviously been a part of the Bulls organization already. Um, just has allowed for a seamless transition uh, for myself. Uh, it's a great opportunity uh, to get a head coaching job, but it gives me a chance to, to further help the Bulls and help uh, Fred in a different capacity. Nate, let's talk about assisting the Bulls with the D-League Development Ball Club. How do you think this is going to evolve? Well, I think the biggest thing is that this is an unbelievable uh, opportunity for our organization. Uh, the D-League has just grown in years, and it's going to get to where there's going to each team is going to have their own affiliate. And I think it's just a great tool for our players. Uh, instead of being shipped to a different team or a different city, Essentially, if they are out of the rotation or they're, for whatever circumstances there are, they need to get more playing time or more practices because the team's on the road, whatever the situation may be. Now we're in a situation where we're just up the road. Um, it gives our fans up there a chance to see uh, some of the Chicago Bulls that maybe it's tougher to see down in the city. And it just allows for continuity uh, between our coaching staff, the front office, our coaching staff with the Chicago Bulls, uh, someone who has been with the organization uh, is going to keep some of the values and the principles that we all share top to bottom and, uh, and hopefully make for more development for, for all of our players. Nate, I'm glad you mentioned this regarding the Windy City Bulls in Hoffman Estates. It's a gorgeous facility. How is this going to help the players not only develop into NBA players one day, but also just get a feel of what it's like to be a pro ball player? Well, I think as much as anything, uh, it is a developmental league, but it's also a professional league. So as guys are transitioning maybe from college or different roles overseas, um, they now get a chance to go and play. Uh, for the Bulls, but maybe in a role that they aren't quite ready for with the regular Chicago Bulls. Maybe they're on the other side of the rotation. They're not, they're not quite in it yet. Maybe they're the 11th or 12th man. Um, and instead of drawing some times where they don't play, they get a chance to come, get shots up, play our offense, play our defense, and get some real actual game minutes. Things that you can't simulate just in practice throughout the, the regular season. All right, so what, what are some of the goals then you have going in to 2016 and 2017? Well, I think first and foremost, uh, I want to continue to keep the trust of our front office and our coaching staff to know that when they send a player to us, um, meaning one of our, our roster guys or our contract Chicago Bulls guys, that they're going to be in great hands and they're um, it's going to be a seamless transition for them. They're going to be practicing the things that they would be doing with the Chicago Bulls. I also uh, hope it provides another set of eyes uh, around the league to, to relay information uh, to our scouting staff, to our staff, just about different players, whether they come through our organization or whether uh, through our, they're throughout the, the D-League. And, and Nate, finally, you have the respect of everyone in this building, certainly, and what you accomplished as a member of the Bulls staff. What does this mean for you personally? Well, at the end of the day, it's, um, I mean, I grew up in Iowa, but I've been a lifelong Bulls fan. Uh, I also grew up watching Fred Hoiberg. Uh, I've got to work with Fred the last three years, and it's been an unbelievable experience. This last year, I got a chance to, to work for the Chicago Bulls, uh, uh, an organization that I followed my whole life. And to get an opportunity to grow within the organization while still helping uh, my mentor in a different capacity and by hopefully furthering my professional career, it just adds to a, uh, an absolutely slam dunk for, for myself and my family. All right, well, congratulations again. I'm gonna come visit you now, so don't forget about us. You're welcome anytime. We'd love you and any Bulls fans we can get up north and we're just excited for the season. All right, good enough. Nate Lenzer, the new head coach of the Windy City Bulls, joining us right here on Bulls TV.